Hello everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite hot weather fragrances. For the last year, if you've been following me on here, I've done kind of seasonal roundups of my favorite fragrances. I am a big, big fan of various fragrances. I am like a little bit of a collector. Um, I just love I love expressing myself through fragrance. I love exploring different scents. And I thought it would be fun to showcase my collection rather than just showing it all at once. I wanted to just showcase it in seasonal chunks. This is the summer edition. I previously did a spring one and a fall winter one. I will link them all in the description box below if you're interested, but I, I love, I love fragrances year round. And in the summertime, especially when it gets really hot, when it gets humid outside, I gravitate towards fragrances that are really light and soft and clean. Um, on my skin especially, a lot of the um, like gourmand fragrances and a lot of the really intense florals that I love to wear in colder seasons, I just cannot pull off in the heat. They just all turn really funky on me. So I have five fragrances that I wanted to share with you today. And then I also have some summer body care favorites. I thought they kind of go hand in hand. So without further ado, let's start. Fragrance number one, this is, I actually just recently repurchased this. I had this in my collection maybe three years ago and I really missed having it. And then I saw that they did a limited edition, all white clear bottle and I was like sold. Give it to me now. <laughs> this is Byredo Blanche. Thinking behind this fragrance is how to embody the color white. White is such a, I mean, it, arguably it's not really a color, but white in the summertime, I mean, doesn't really get more summery than that, right? So this fragrance is supposed to embody the color white. It's super, super lightweight, very airy, but it does have a hint of, of sweetness. I don't know if it's just the way my body reacts because a lot of Byredo fragrances that I try, they do turn a little bit sweet on me throughout the day, but I really love it in this fragrance in particular. Think of like a crisp white linen shirt that has just freshly been washed and then mixed with like warm sun-kissed skin. Very, very subtle vanilla in there. Um, I don't even know if vanilla is an official note, but on me, it kind of it kind of leans a little bit vanilla sweet and I just I absolutely love it It's not the most long wearing fragrance, but it's a fragrance that I love it's, it's an excellent everyday Fragrance work appropriate not like it's a, not like an offensive fragrance or anything like that And I love this limited edition packaging. I think if you are a fan of uh, Byredo Blanche This is such a beautiful rendition of the bottle just super clean and minimalistic I also love the um, the matching hand soap and hand lotion in the range is um, actually suede. The suede scent isn't exactly the same, but they are in the same family. So if you like the suede hand soap that I mentioned in several favorites videos throughout um, throughout the last couple of years, you will like this. It's, it's part of the same collection. And they also do a, a candle called Cotton Poplin. That's also one of my favorites that um, that's kind of in the same range family, right? Just clean, crisp, hint of sweetness. On me, this kind of smells like fresh, clean laundry mixed with hints of uh, Jo Malone Vanilla Anise, which is one of my favorite fragrances as well. So I really, really like this. And I think it's worth a try if you're into nice, clean scents because it's clean, but it's not like a laundry scent. It doesn't smell like, like laundry. It's it's a little bit more sophisticated than that. Really, really love it. Next up, we have Tobacco by Koki Koki. And this is another really interesting take on fresh, clean laundry. It's fresh, clean laundry, but leaning a bit more on the masculine side because there is that tobacco leaf in there, but it's not a smoky tobacco. It's not like Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. It's, um, it's like a fresh green tobacco leaf mixed with Clean laundry it is so good and this just smells like a summer vacation and let's say you're on a hike it's 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 warm outside you're scaling some hills and then there's some fresh laundry just hanging out to dry on that hill 
but you're in a beachy location, let's say, somewhere where tobacco grows. <laughs> Don't you just love the weird stories I make up when I talk about fragrances? Fragrance is so tied to memories and it, it's such a powerful, scent is such a powerful sense. So that's kind of what I think of when I smell this. Really, really gorgeous unisex fragrance. My husband wears this in the summertime as well. I love to wear it as well. It's just, it's just a really, really good one. And um, it's, it's a nice take on tobacco because usually the tobacco fragrances that I've experienced have been more like fall winter fragrances. They've been more rich, more woody, more smoky. And this is like a light version of that. So this is a really good one. Koki Koki in general, they are very good at light summer fragrances. They are a Mexican based um, they have a, a, an office in Mexico. They also have one in Bora Bora, I believe. But I purchased this fragrance in Mexico at one of their stores in uh, in Coba, and it's it's a beautiful experience. Their their retail experience is really nice, and they also do really good fragrances that wear nicely in the heat. So tobacco is very very good. The other one is by the same brand, and it's Coco Coco, and this smells like coconuts. And it's my favorite coconut scent that I've ever smelled. There are a lot of really good coconut fragrances on the market. There's the classic Bobbi Brown Beach. Um, there's also Atelier Cologne Lemon Island. That's like a really nice sun-kissed citrus meets suntan lotion kind of vibe. There's um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, I believe. Um, and then we have Coco Coco by Koki Koki which is a little bit less, it's a little bit less floral than the previous ones I mentioned. This is more of like a straight up coconut, like a fresh coconut that just fell from the tree. And um, I would maybe recommend getting a sample of this if you can. There's so many amazing websites that can do fragrance samples, especially when it comes to trying more niche fragrant brands that you can't really get at Sephora. Um, because some people say that this, this can smell really funky, so it's, it's either like you really love it or you're really going to hate it. Some people say that it smells like rubber. Some people say that it smells like mothballs or chemicals. To me, it doesn't smell like any, it doesn't smell bad at all. To me, it just smells like freshly cracked coconuts. This is actually my second bottle of this. As you can see, this is a, a brand new bottle. I've gone through a full one before. This is my favorite vacation scent. This just takes me on the beach somewhere and it's a very beautiful like nostalgic coconut sun-kissed beachy tropical scent that I just can't get enough of and I actually find this to be quite long lasting as well so yeah Coco Coco by Koki Koki is very very good and um, I highly recommend it if you're into like tropical coconut scents there's also one by a new brand I think they're a sunscreen brand and they have really retro marketing um, it's called vacation and they also have a fragrance out that's supposed to smell like that old school tropical sunscreen kind of scent so i'm curious how um i'm curious how that one smells too if you've checked it out let us know in the comment section below but lots of really good options out there if you're into that sun-kissed skin tropical coconut kind of scent. It's a really great scent to have in the summertime and it always just evokes such happy memories. Moving on to something a little bit more fruity and I I love this and I think in general Atelier Cologne if you're into citrus it is such a great brand to check out. It is easily accessible. It's very widely available at Sephora's and they also have discovery kits. It's one of my top recommendations if you are into citrus and you want to kind of explore different scents and see how you like them. Get a discovery set from Atelier Cologne at Sephora and then just kind of make your way through the fragrances and see which ones you like. My personal favorite is Orange Sanguine. This was a limited edition bottle from I think two years ago but it comes in just the regular clear bottle now. It smells like blood oranges and it's just like a juicy juicy orange. Whenever I smell this I just imagine digging into an orange and just like squeezing it into my mouth it is so juicy that's the perfect way to describe it it's a juicy zesty citrus it has a beautiful sweetness to it and uh, I love it I love it so much I tend to wear this I mean I tend to wear this any time of the day but more often I like to wear this in the evening 
I don't know why, but I really love it. I could smell this all day. If this is a bit too sweet for you, it's a little bit too in your face fruity, the uh, Clementine California scent is also really lovely by Atelier Cologne. That one is like a little bit more tame, more multi-dimensional. It's not just in your face citrus. It's got some florals happening and it's a little bit more fresh, but this is my personal favorite. Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. And finally, sticking with the citrus theme, but this time moving on to citrus florals, we have Bergamot 22 by Lilabo. This is such a beautiful floral. It's perfect for hot weather because it's a very crisp, light, and fresh floral. It's not like a, a floral that will give you a headache. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly woodsy. It just has the most delicious balanced notes. This smells so good and I think it's a unisex fragrance also. I mean, all fragrances are unisex. You know what I mean? You can wear whatever you want. Don't let the gendered um, organization in a store deter you from just trying everything out. There are so many fragrances that I like that are traditionally marketed towards men um, and there are so many fragrances that are traditionally marketed towards women that my husband wears and they smell incredible on him. So it's, it's a wide playground, everybody can play. And Bergamot 22 is, oh, it is, it's really, really good. This also wears really well on me. I can have this, I can spray this in the morning and I can still get whiffs of it in the evening. I don't know if it's just me, but on me, I find this to be quite long lasting. Love it so much. It's it's one of my favorite florals by Lilabo. I, I find that Lilabo does really good woodsy scents. Um, a lot of their florals that I've tried kind of leave me underwhelmed, but this one just really, really, really does it for me. Chef's Kiss, I would actually buy the big bottle of it and those bottles are super expensive. So that's really saying something. So those are the fragrances that I'm really, really into this time of year. They all wear really well in the heat. I don't find that any of them give me a headache. I find that they just make me smell really good and clean and fresh, but yeah, love them. If you've tried any of them, let me know in the comment section below. I always love to chat fragrances with you. And if you are also into fragrances, I really love the channel. Um, I think it's called Perfume Fragrance Review. I'm going to link his channel below, but I absolutely love his fragrance round roundups. And he talks about a lot of really interesting fragrance brands that I've never heard of before. So it's a great way to kind of get more acquainted if you are looking to get more into fragrances. I think it's such a great channel. So we'll link that below. Now moving on to the body care element, some of the body care products that I rely on in the summertime. Starting out with body lotion, and this is an oldie but goodie. It's, it's one of my favorite body lotions, but especially in the summertime, I don't like heavy, sticky body butters or anything like that. I like things to be super lightweight, and I like them to be unscented so that I can go to town with whatever fragrance I want to wear that day. So the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Cream, this is the body gel cream. The unfragranced version is fantastic. I've been talking about this ever since it launched and I love it. It's, it's a classic. Love the fact that it comes with a pump and I find it really, really hydrating and it's just, it's a joy to apply because it never feels greasy. I can put clothes on right after and I just, I just love it. But make sure you get the fragrance free version because the fragrance version is, um, I mean, I find the scent to be a bit too overwhelming. It's like a very, it's like a marine fresh type of scent that really lingers onto the skin and has the potential to interfere with whatever fragrance you're wearing. So I would recommend sticking to the fragrance free version. I do love the fact that they have two versions. I think that's awesome. And I wish more brands did that, but love this stuff. If you've tried this and if you find this to be a little bit too light for you, you need more of a body lotion, but you still want something lightweight, you just want something that's a little bit more, more moisturizing than this. The Dr. Jart Ceramidin Body Lotion, I actually cut it open so I can dig every single last drop out of it. That's how you can tell it's a really good product. This is a fantastic lightweight body moisturizer. It has a bit more, has a bit more oomph to it than the Neutrogena, but again, very lightweight, very silky, no fragrance whatsoever. Um, kind of reminds me of the Kiehl Creme Decor in terms of texture, but even I find the moisture that it leaves behind to be even more long lasting. So 
definitely recommend checking this out. Then a very important summer thing is sunscreen. Sunscreen for the body is just as important as sunscreen for the face and I wear sunscreen on my face year round, but I have to admit on the body, I don't really wear sunscreen in the colder months because most of the time my body is all covered up and bundled up. But in the summertime, sunscreen on the body is a must. And this is one of the best ones that I've tried. I don't know if this is new. Um, I feel like I've just only heard about it in the last year. And also I think it's marketed differently in Europe. It's the Vichy Ideal Soleil. This is the sport sunscreen. It's water and sweat resistant and you can also apply it on wet skin. So it's very, very easy to apply and reapply if you're spending time at the beach. Um, it's super, super lightweight. There's no white cast. There's no fragrance. It's really, really great. Silky, easy to use. Highly recommend. Um, you can put it on your face too, but I prefer using different sunscreens on my face. And if you care about what my favorite face sunscreens are, I have a blog post all about my top five favorite facial sunscreens. So then another body skincare item, it's more of an ingredient and it's BHA. I, um, I've been loving this Polish Choice 2% BHA in order to help treat ingrown hairs. I love this stuff. This doesn't work on my face, but it works wonders on my bikini area, on areas of my legs where I tend to be prone to ingrown hairs. This just really, really takes care of them in record time. It's great. And they also have a 2% BHA weightless body treatment that I actually prefer to this in terms of texture, but I use that up and rather than repurchasing it right away, I thought I would use this instead because I received this in PR from the brand and I knew that this doesn't work on my face. So I figured, hey, I don't wanna waste product. I'm just going to try to use it up on my legs, on my bikini area, just for ingrown hairs. And this works just as well as the product marketed towards the body. So if you have this and it doesn't work for your face, rather than throwing it out, maybe check it, try to use it on your legs or something like that to um, help fight against bumps, like razor bumps, ingrown hairs, all that good stuff. So this is really great. And another thing that I really love for helping against bumps and just make sure my, my skin is nice and smooth in the summertime is this exfoliating bar. I, I'm a big fan of body scrubs in general year round. I love the Aesop body scrubs if I want something bougie. I also like the Aven body scrub. But recently I, um, I bought this because I saw an ad for it on Instagram and it kind of caught my eye. I think the branding is really cool. It's a brand called Soft Services and it's a very new brand. I think they're only a couple months old. And um, one of the co-founders of this brand used to work at Glossier and she was one of the people that developed the boy brow. So she started her own brand catering to the body. It's more of like targeted solutions for various problems on the body and their first drop has three products and they all target keratosis pilaris. So there's, um, there's like an acid, like a leave-on acid exfoliating gel treatment. There is this physical um, soap bar that's got you know exfoliating particles in it. And then there's a body lotion with urea that actually sounds really interesting that I want to try next. But I'm going to struggle to get this out. You actually get two bars of soap in this package. And I wanted to show you an unopened one because I don't want to show you my used bar of soap that's in the shower, but it's just it's proving difficult to get out. But the packaging is really cool. Um, you can tell that it's like, it's got that millennial Glossier branding vibe to it, but so you get two of these in the box and I'm gonna open this just so you can see. It's, it's a really fun blue color, unscented. Um, it's, it gives a really nice scrub. It's called the Buffing Bar Micro Crystal Exfoliant, but this is what it looks like. No fragrance whatsoever. Um, it does lather up slightly, and I find that this really, really gives me a good clean and a really good scrub at the same time. So if you're in the market for a new 
body scrub, maybe check this out. I definitely found it to be quite effective, effective at kind of treating any keratosis polaris that I have at the back of my arms. And um, love the fact that it's, it's unscented. And uh, that's it. I am boiling. <laughs> I had to stop the air conditioning in order to, to film this without any weird, you know, noises in the background. So now I'm, I'm boiling. I had to ditch my my uh, my chic little silk scarf, and now now it's time to uh, turn the air conditioning back on and uh, go about my day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know what your favorite hot weather fragrance is. Let me know what your body care favorites are in the summertime. Um, as always, I will catch you in the comment section below. I really, really appreciate you hanging out with me and watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.